Hi, so in this video, I'm going to talk about virtual reality and how I think it can help with lucid dreaming. So I received my first VR headset with my Samsung phone a few years ago. It was an amazing freebie. When I put the headset on, it blew me away because I was like, this feels like a lucid dream. And it's the closest thing in the waking life that feels like what I feel like when I'm lucid dreaming. And that is because you are freely able to move about the world, but there is a barrier between where you're going and your will and your actions. And you feel the separation between that and your consciousness. So because you are wearing a headset, you know you're in a game. And surprise, that's what it feels like when you're lucid dreaming. You, you feel that separation between your consciousness and that world. That's how you become awake. And when you're just awake in life around you, you forget about this and you go through the motions just the same way you go through the motions of a dream. And that's why people don't become lucid in a dream and forget about the dream because they're just going with emotions instead of really separating themselves as a separate consciousness from the world around them. And surprise, if you lucid dream a lot and you're recognizing yourself as a separate consciousness, you also start seeing your waking life as a game. So kind of trippy, right? So anyways, um, you know, I have this personal opinion that games and entertainment do destroy our focus and meditation powers and attention span. But when I saw the VR headset and the feelings that it gave me, I'm like, this could also be used as a tool. Because if you haven't lucid dreamt yet and you don't know what it feels like, you know, having that anchoring point, that first step of, you know, different facets of what it feels like can be helpful because you don't always just dive into something at once. You just take baby steps to get there. And something else I noticed about the VR headset is that, you know, sometimes they don't have a remote control. So how you remotely control your world around you in the VR world is by your attention. So I will look at one point, like I'm looking at a menu and there's six options, right? I will have to look at one option for like 10 seconds. And then you see your point of attention, your digital point of attention, it's like a laser, it's pointing at whatever you're looking at. And the longer you look at it, then slowly there's a loading bar that kind of fills up around. And if you looked at it for five whole seconds, then it activates it and then you go into that option. So I'm like, wow, this is like pretty powerful. It knows about the power of attention. It knows about um, your focus point and the duration of it to activate, to lead you to another portal. So those ideas are actual skills that you have in your waking life. And then we can talk about um, VR chat rooms, you know, virtually, digitally meeting up with your friends in this different realm, which is to me just like meeting up with beings in the astral realm because that's been my dream since I've been a child. I'm like, I want to meet up with my friends in my dream places. So VR chat rooms is in a way externalizing that power potential that we have. So it's just an incredible tool that exists. And now that VR is more advanced and cheaper, you know, I have a $300 headset that I don't have to connect to a computer to use. I don't have to put my phone into use. It's a separate entity. It's the Oculus Quest 2, if you guys are wondering. But I can move my body in alignment with my vision. So, like, that takes it even a step further. Like, I'm moving my body in this virtual space and it coincides with my willpower and where I decide to focus on. So that is really trippy. I recommend VR. So I'm going to talk about three games that I think would really help 
jumpstart that lucid dreaming feeling and playing around with your consciousness kind of feeling. So to preface, I'm not a professional gamer. I'm sorry if my lingo is off. Okay, number one, super hot. So this is a shooting game and I actually do not like shooting games, but this one is super meta. The catch is that every time you move, that's the only time your enemies and your weapons and the world can move. So the world is basically frozen until you move. It's like the matrix with Neo just doing a backbend with bullets shooting at him. So there will be a bullet suspended in midair coming at you, right? And as long as you're frozen, it will just be there. But if you move a muscle, it moves a moment. So <laughs> for a game that is in super slow motion, it gets your adrenaline going and it gets your body going. Your body is fully engaged. You have two remote controls and you are in this world. And this is what it feels like to be in a fully lucid dream. Like you are in enough separation to feel your consciousness and full control of your body. And you know, the world around you is fake, but there's also the interactions that you have with the world and you realize that you are affecting it. So super amazing meditative practice that exists in real life for your lucid dream life. Um, make sure you have enough space around you and pillows around you because I almost got hurt punching wall. I did get hurt punching walls. I didn't get seriously hurt, but make sure you don't have anything that's fragile around you like your TVs or anything fragile or your babies or dogs or whatever. Have a super clear space and pillows on the floor so you can feel your boundaries. You get active in this game. You feel like a super spy. Super, super cool game. I recommend it. Okay, second game, um, drawing game. So I personally have Gravity Sketch because it's free, but there's other, other things like Tilt Brush. I don't know if um, there's different versions now. I'm sure there's many different drawing games, but these VR drawing games are so crazy cool because not only do you draw in 3D space, you can stretch uh, a drawing, like if I make a house, it's like I can draw it to be this big, you know, all the vectors are just as big as, you know, this tiny thing in front of me, but then I can choose to stretch it out to envelop me and you can play with space and dimensions and it's just so, so cool. It just like expands your possibilities to limitless creations. So that is um, Gravity Sketch or, you know, VR art canvases and art programs. The third game I recommend is a popular game called A Fisherman's Tale. It's a mind-bending puzzle game that enacts the idea of as above, so below. So like you're a fisherman in this houseboat and you have a smaller model of a houseboat with the fisherman inside of it in the middle of the room. And every time you make an action in your normal space it's also affecting what's going on in the smaller space and on and on and on and also in the bigger fisherman's boat outside of you like it's just really trippy and um one part of it that was really trippy for me that reminded me of a lucid dream was you look into a mirror which is showing the reflection of you as the fisherman and whenever you move that fisherman also moves in the same way. And yes, this is all with the Oculus Quest, just two remote controls. The technology is amazing. But um, that feeling of the imaginary realm and you as a separation of consciousness with the world around you and the ability to act and interact with the world around you and cause different manifestations to happen, um, this game will show you how to do that. So... That's when I'm like, okay, this gaming is a tool and it can help you and it's not just mind-numbing. Um, there's some really great creativity and works of imagination out there. So, yep, those are the games that I recommend. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more. 
now. I've only tried a few of them and then I'm like, I need to go back to the real world now. But um, I'm feeling like I want to play them now. So if you guys have had any experiences with those or have any other games that you feel like you want to share with me and you're like, you have to try this game, please let me know. If you have any questions about these games or about the VR headsets themselves, um, just shoot a question over. And yeah, thanks for listening, you guys.